I've been making these bowls, this little bowl series, and I'm really enjoying that. I'm learning, and I think I'm improving. But uh, I see the basket patterns. I'm kind of interested in the baskets. Kind of a similar type thing. This is a Steve Good pattern. It's called a stacked crescent, I think is what he called it. I'll have to double check that basket. But uh, I'll have a link to the pattern if you want to look at it. Uh, so what you do is you cut each one of these and then you rotate them and glue them. So you put the peak on the on the curved side of each ring and it makes a little pattern in the basket as it comes up. Uh, that's not a bullseye. That's the, the base for the basket and then a ring to go on the top of it. You don't have to use that. You can use this as the bottom and just go with that if you want. I thought I'd just do the whole thing since I had the material. And speaking of material, he used quarter inch. This is uh, actually 3 sixteenths. This comes in a second package that I had and it was wide enough. I didn't have to do any uh, gluing or anything to make a piece wide enough. I've got some quarter inch wide enough but I wanted to use this up. I don't have much use for it other than things like this. So I'm going to cut this and start in the center. And I've drilled these in tiny little holes all the way out. I spiraled around there. And I'm going to use a number three blade. And hopefully this won't take long to cut. And uh, gluing it together, just have to get it lined up is the main thing. It won't take long, I don't think, to make this project. And I'll have a little basket. This is kind of an experiment and learning process too, but it's fairly simple. No angles to cut. Just cut them and stack them and glue them. So let me get started. Get a new blade in the saw, and I'll get started cutting, and then we'll glue it up. For me, the main thing I have to remember in cutting this is there is no waste until you get outside out here. Uh, there's, actually, there'll be waste on the inside of this, the first cut and the last cut. But um, if I wasn't saving this, if I was saving this yeah, for the bottom, I'd have to make sure there was no way, and I didn't cut into that. But I'm going to cut all these just like there is no waste. i got to stay on the line all the way around for every cut. I think it's going to be okay, easy to do, because i got a number three blade, and it's a fairly thin wood. So here we go. So it's all cut out. It's not a real hard project to cut. It's a little tedious. There's a lot of repetition there. Each each ring gets a little little brighter swath to cut. A little longer curves on each one. Um, I like the way it looks. I've kind of got it mocked up. I've cleaned up, taken the pattern off, cleaned them up a little bit. Didn't need a lot because the stuff cut really nice and clean. I think it's probably aspen. Uh, it's kind of what it looks like and feels like when you cut. It's not super hard, but it's hard enough uh, to, to make a good edge and not get a lot of fuzzies on it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to glue it up slowly and carefully and uh, try to stack it up and keep everything in, in line as I go. Uh, this, I'm thinking this project would look really nice in a real nice wood, a walnut, or mahogany, just whatever, some exotic wood, some purple heart, yellow heart, uh, just whatever you can think of, that would be a nice looking bow. You can mix and match on it, possibly cut two at a time and maybe do some alternating rings in. But there's lots of ideas of something could do with this. I like to play with that sort of thing. Uh, using the thinner wood as I'm using, you cut three at a time as far as that goes. Uh, that's three sixteenths, I believe. Uh, instead of quarter inch. 
So anyway, let me get my glue set up. I'm going to put me some somewhere and use something small to apply that glue to each one of these little tips and, and, and work it on the way up, try to keep it lined up. Well, I put it in a press a little bit, made sure everything was put together really well. You got to be easy with it. It's thin wood. It'd be easy to warp it or break it even. And I put too much pressure on it, just enough to get that glue to set up, and it did. I pretty well had it real tacky before I put it in there. I let each each layer get tacky before I put the next one on, so it wouldn't move when I was trying to work with it. It's not a bad little project. It's not hard to cut. Just had to take care in making those. Uh, like those half circles all the way around, keeping them, keeping them on the line, because each each ring is a little bit different radius on the circle, so you can't really get settled in on it. Uh, and putting it together, just as a little glue as possible, and letting each ring get tacky so you don't mess it up when you put the next one on, and getting it lined up. Those are the critical parts. Uh, I'm very, very pleased with it. I think it looks really nice. I like that effect. Anyway, that's just a quick little one-day project. I'll leave a little video on it. Uh, first time I've done a basket like this, I've seen these. And I like the way this looks, so I thought I'd try it. I had uh, not a lot to do today. I kind of was taking it easy, and I said, well, I'll try a quick little project. So I hope you like that. If you do, hit the like button. And... Uh, Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I may do some more baskets. I know I'm going to do some more bowls and maybe in some vases. So uh, anyway, if you watch this all the way through, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.